Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with part seven of the Tome series. So this is the series where we work through all of the achievements in this game and get a bunch of Microsoft Rewards points along the way. If you haven't already watched parts one through six, those will be linked in the description so you can get caught up and grab all the achievements that we previously grabbed in the game. But we're gonna be grabbing the next three achievements today and I'll be breaking them up into three separate sections of the video for three separate days so that you can use them for the daily five point quest for earning an achievement in a Game Pass game. And as always, these daily quests, even though they're only worth five, they do help with the monthly and weekly quests that are worth much larger totals like 1,000, 500, 100, etc. So let's go ahead and get started on those three achievements. And we're going to start out in Tome. We're going to take a look at the achievement tracker like we always do and take a look and see where we are. So you should be at 18 out of 48 achievements so far. And the very last achievement that we got at the end of part six was the big city for arriving in the new city, which is called Log City. So we're going to get started in Log City. And the first couple of achievements are quite easy, so those will be short, and the third one's gonna be a little bit longer in this video. We've gotta get through most of the tasks in Log City. But for the first one here, for the day one achievement, we're just gonna walk over to this guy that's sitting at the bench in the little underground bus area, and we're going to talk to him and get his first task. And then we're gonna move over and talk to the guy at the information desk here, and he will tell us how many stamps that we need in order to get to the next area, which is going to be quite a few. So we need nine, but there are actually 18 in this section. The next thing we're going to do is take a picture of this graffiti that's on the escalator here. I don't think I end up using this one on day three. This is kind of an extra one. But if you want to go ahead and just be safe, go ahead and take this picture of the character that's on the escalator here. Make sure that the entire body of the character is in frame or else it won't count. So we need to take quite a few pictures of graffiti in this area, but that's just the first one. Now we're going to go up the stairs here, up the escalator, and we're going to turn around and take a picture of the clock tower back here. And this is going to get us our day one achievement, which is called the Grand Clock Tower. So like I said, very easy achievement for day one here, and day two is going to be pretty easy as well, but we're going to have to do some work for sure for the day three achievement. It's going to be one of the longer ones that we work through getting a bunch of tasks completed. But as always for day one, I'm just going to save and return to the title screen. And then our day two achievement is going to be fairly easy as well. Got just a couple more things to do, but we're going to get two of the tasks finished and then get that achievement. So the first thing we're going to do is take a picture of one of the pigeons that's on the ground in the middle of this area. So make sure you get that. As always, make sure that when you're taking a picture of an animal, it does say the name of the animal on the bottom of the photo. So we've got the pigeon. Now let's take a picture of the cat hanging from the wire up above. And that will complete task number one for us. It's called hang in there, buddy. So one out of 18 completed so far. Now there is a graffiti in this area, so just kind of turn your camera around and you'll see the splat on the side of the building here with the eyes and the mouth. So that's the second graffiti we've taken a picture of. Next we're going to talk to the lion on the bench here. He's going to want to feed the birds, so we're going to help him out with that in part three. But get his task, and then we're going to talk to the lady beside the table here. She's looking to get a bunch of followers. And the first thing we're going to do is take a picture of her right here beside this hot dog. And then we'll talk to her, and she likes that photo. So that's part of what we need to do is just show her that photo, and then that will help her on her journey to get a whole bunch of followers. And that's going to be tied to our achievement for today. We'll have to take one more picture of her in the next area, but for now let's go over and talk to the guy at the hot dog stand. He's going to give us a task to find three new customers for him, and he's also going to give us a hot dog hat that we're going to go ahead and say, yes, we want to equip that, and we're going to be using that to talk to some customers, some potential customers out in the, the Log City area. Let's head to the right, and we're going to take a picture of the lady. She's over here now, and she's standing next to a burger and fries, so take a picture of her with those foods. And then we can talk to her and show her that photo. 
and that will help her to get her 100 followers that she's looking to get. And then this is going to be one of the instances where the character starts sparkling after you help them. So we're going to stamp our book with our second task here. So we finished task two out of 18. And then we're going to see that she started to sparkle. We'll take a picture of her and that will get us the 100 followers achievement. All right, so that's our easy achievement for day two. Like I said, day three is gonna be more involved, so be prepared. It'll probably take about 25 minutes or so to get through all the tasks for day three. So be ready for that tomorrow. All right, so I hope you're buckled in for the day three achievement. We're gonna get 14 tasks completed in Log City here. So this is gonna take about 25 minutes or so, but I hope you'll be able to follow along. So the first thing we're gonna do is go inside the cafe here and we're going to take a picture of one of the mice that is in this room. So they are kind of all over the place. So just make sure you zoom in, get a picture of a mouse, and then we're gonna start honking with our horn. So just keep looking around and finding all the mice in this room. There's one on the floor, there's one up in the chandelier sometimes. So just look around, there are about three or four of them in here and just kind of honk them all away. And once you've done that, then you will complete task number three. So we'll stamp our book here with our third stamp and we're gonna head back outside and there's a dog named, I think it's Portillo or Portillo out there. So we're just gonna head outside and find that dog. So he's over here by the bushes. So just take a picture of the doggy here. And then we're gonna move over to the guys that are throwing the Frisbee over here and talk to them to get a task. They're gonna lose their Frisbee to a bird and we'll have to go get it back for them. Next, we'll take a picture of the graffiti eyes right here. So that should be your third graffiti that you're taking a picture of in town. And then we're gonna head back to the first area. The guy inside of the little cafe there gave us a cinnamon bun. So we're gonna give that to the lion to complete his task. And he'll be able to use that to feed the birds here. And then we're actually gonna take a picture of the bird that comes to feast on the cinnamon bun. So we've completed task four. Back off a little bit from this area and then take your picture of the punky parrot. And now we're gonna head back to where the Frisbee guys were and we're gonna head a little bit past them into the next area. All right, and quite a few things to do here. So the first thing we'll do is take a picture of the skull graffiti that's on the ground. I went over to the side here, but I don't think this is really the best angle to t try to take the picture from. So I ended up swinging back around and taking it from kind of between the cones here. I was trying to get more of a straight on view of the, the skull graffiti. So take a picture of that. And then we're going to go to the manhole cover here and talk to that and get our next task. And we're going to take a picture of the cube that's up on the building over to the side. It should be flashing up here. Take a picture of that and that will complete task number five for you for the manhole cover. All right, now we're gonna move over and talk to the guide right here and get the next photo challenge. Now we need to talk to the ghost. You should be able to see her if you're still wearing your ghost glasses and she wants to go on a date with us. So we're gonna do that. So just keep saying yes to her and we're gonna take her first up to the art gallery that's right next to us. So head up the little stairwell right here and we're gonna go into the art gallery. All right, we're gonna to speak to the guy in here and get a task from him. And then we're going to interact with the piece that's hanging up just here.
Now let's head back outside. And we're going to go down the stairwell and then take a left into the next area. There's an old lady here with a crashed car, so speak to her to get a task. We'll have to help her out with her car in just a minute. And then you may recall from the last time that we got a task where we need to find three different customers for the hot dog stand. This is the first of those three customers right here. So speak to him and he will go ahead and leave the area and go to see the new hot dog place. Now we're going to finish up our date with the ghost. We're going to take her over to this table and sit down and that will complete task number six. So we'll press A to jump out of the chair and head up to the robot who's in the trash pile and we can talk to him. We don't have the picture of the shady character yet, the suspicious character, so we'll get that in just a bit. Let's move up the stairwells here and go to the right. This is a little difficult to see, but there's a present back here, so make sure you open that and you'll get the sneakers. And they do make you move faster, but since I'm already going fairly fast, I just said no. So I'm not equipping those just yet. Let's go up to the viewpoint and we're going to take a picture of the cube that's over to the side. And this will complete task number seven for helping out the old lady and getting her car flipped back over so she can start driving again. We'll get a picture of her driving in just a little while, but that is task number seven. All right, let's head back down from the viewpoint and we're gonna to go to the left of these trash piles. There's a guide here, so make sure you speak with him to get his task. There's another graffiti that is underneath the bridge here, so if you kind of go back underneath where these spray cans are, then look up and take a picture of the cheese graffiti. We're going to move into the next area and we'll see the suspicious person that's under the stairs. So we're going to get our camera out and take a picture of him. And then our second hot dog customer is at the top of the stairs here. So make sure you speak with that guy. And then if we look up, there is a bird that's in the tree here. We just need to honk to get the bird to leave the tree and to drop the frisbee. So just press A to honk. And we're going to need to go back down the stairs and head to the left to grab it off of the ground. And now we're going to take a picture of this guy that is next to the car here. So just get out your camera and take a picture of him looking confused. We need that for one of our photo challenges. We're going to talk to the ghost here and we are going to show the ghost a picture of the Oakleville Hotel. He wants to be back in Oakleville. He misses Oakleville. So go back through your photo album here and look for this photo that we took of the hotel, kind of from the scenic viewpoint. So that is the photo right there that you want to show him. So show that one to him and that will complete task number eight. There's also a picture of a turtle that we can get here, so make sure that you grab that photo. Get your turtle photo, and then we're going to move over to the crosswalk here. And we're going to get a couple of pictures from right here. The cars should stop for you, and we're going to take a picture of the dog graffiti that's across the way. And then if you stop it at the right moment, then you should see the old lady driving here. So if she's not coming past, then just kind of move away and come back, but get a picture of her driving her car. All 
All right, now we're gonna do some backtracking. So let's go back over to the right of this area. And we're gonna go up the stairwell here. There's a news building that's right here that has a newspaper on top of it. So let's go inside of there. And we're gonna start talking to the different people in here. And they don't seem very welcoming at first. So after a minute, when you try to leave, the boss will kind of change his mind and say, you know, I want you to be a reporter and work for us after all. And he will give you a reporter hat. So we're going to go ahead and equip the reporter hat. And he tells us that he needs a photo of a great mustache and a fashion show. So let's start by taking a picture of his mustache. So make sure you zoom in a little bit on this till the mustache gets highlighted. Take that picture and then we're going to talk to him again and show him his own mustache. That is the photo that he's looking for. And then we're going to work on getting that fashion show picture in just a couple minutes. So let's head back outside and we're going to backtrack a little bit and go to the area where the trash piles were and the robot in the trash pile. Talk to him and you can now give him the photo of the suspicious person that we took that was standing under the stairwell. So let's show that one to him and that'll complete task number nine for Log City. And then there is a club or a fashion building that is right in this area. So go inside of here. And we need to talk to the bouncer here. And he'll let us back through since we're sort of official looking and wearing a hat. We're part of the press at the moment. So head back in there and we're going to change hats actually because the fashion show is going to involve the hot dog hat. So let's go into our inventory and we're going to switch to the hot dog hat. So you hit your right bumper and then choose the hot bean hot dog hat. And then we can go talk to this lady and this will be an inspiration to her and she'll want to use that in her fashion show. So the fashion show will just begin automatically and you can page through the dialogue. We need to take a picture of the model when she comes out and she's wearing the hot dog hat that we inspired her to wear. So this will be the fashion show picture that the newspaper editor is looking for. So make sure you get that photo. And then the fashion show will just automatically end and then we'll need to go backstage again and talk to the fashion show lady. And that'll complete task number 10 for us. So since that was the extra photo that we needed to complete the news section, we're gonna head back to the news building now and turn in that photo as well the one of the fashion show that the guy was looking for. So back to the news building here, let's go inside. And we do need to switch hats here. So go back into your inventory again, put the newspaper reporter hat back on, and we'll talk to the editor and give him the fashion show picture. So that completes task 11 for us. And we're done with the news section. So now let's switch back to our hot dog hat. We've still got one more customer to find for that. So let's carry on. We're going to move into the next area here to the right of the news building. And there's another customer that is in this section. So talk to him. All right, we're gonna head back into this little alleyway back here 
and take a picture of the Tato Skeet board right here. Now we're going to set up our tripod right here by hitting left on the D-pad and then we'll go up here, we'll turn our camera around and take a picture of the monster in this area. There's also a little girl that is grinding a rail right here, so take a picture of her as she's coming down and grinding on the rail. And then if we head back to kind of the back of this area and then go to the right, then there's a graffiti section that's back here. So we'll talk to this guy and we'll need to show him a bunch of our graffiti photos that we took a picture of. So they splash our camera with mud. We'll get that fixed in a little while, but it's fine. It's just gonna be muddy for right now but we'll talk to a guy in a little while that will clean things for us. So he'll clean our camera up for us. But for now, just go ahead and start showing the graffiti photos to this guy. We need five of them. So I showed him the picture of the dog and the picture of the cheese. I think we took one extra one during the course of this, but you should have plenty to show him. So here's the skull picture that I took. And then we've got the eyes, so I'll show them the picture of the graffiti eyes. And then here's the face, the splat face. And I think we had one additional one that was on the escalator, but that is fine. Better to have too many than too few. And that will complete task 12 for us. So we've finished all of the tasks in this section. Luckily, there's a taxi driver right in this section that will take us back a little ways to some of the other tasks that we need to complete. So just walk over to the taxi driver, talk to him and say yes. And then you'll end up back over here where the Frisbee guys are and the cafe. Talk to the Frisbee guys, return their Frisbee and that will complete task 13. And then we'll head into the next area and we'll talk to the guide. She wanted us to take a picture of someone confused and we took a picture of the confused guy by the car. So show that one to her and that will complete task 14 for us. Let's head up into the art building and we're going to Take a picture of this guy back here. You should have mud on your screen still. So take that picture and say yes to save it. And then we're gonna go into our photo album and edit that picture. So you can hit your menu button and that'll take you straight into the album. And then we're gonna find that picture that we took with the muddy filter and the art guy. We're going to edit it by pressing the menu button and then just type something in here. I just typed the letter R and then I picked the word really from the top. It doesn't have to be named really. You could name it AAA or whatever you want to. But after you've edited it, then you can go back and talk to the guy and say art piece. And then we're going to show him our photo that has a title on it and give that to him. And he will just love it. He's going to include it in his art show. And that will complete task 15 for us. So we've got just a little bit more to do before our achievement in this section. We are almost there. All right, we're done in the art studio for now. So let's head back outside and we're going to find a bird to take a picture of. So we're going to head down the stairs and there's a bird on top of this vehicle over to our right. And this one is called the business pigeon. Again, don't worry about the mud being on it. That's fine. It's just a filter basically is what it is. Let's head to the left and we'll be able to find another Tato that's over here right beside the cars. There's the Tato tourist who's here. And then we're gonna head down 
and down the steps in this area down to the sort of underground bus station. We're going to talk to the guy on the bench and he is going to want to clean something. So he's going to clean all of the mud off of our camera, which makes him very happy and helps him to figure out the purpose of his life, I guess. He wants to be a cleaner. So this completes task 16 out of 18 for us. And then this is another character that starts sparkling. So we're going to take a picture of him and we're going to get the achievement called a new job. So that is our day three achievement and we're almost finished with Log City actually. We completed 16 out of the 18 tasks, so not too much left to do here, but we'll be back in part eight and we'll work on those last couple of tasks for Log City. But that is pretty much it for today. That's it for part seven of the Tome series. I'll be back next week with a new Achievement of the Week guide. We'll have a new Tome adventure part eight in two weeks. And as always, if you're looking for even more easy achievement guides, I do publish those for channel members who help to support the Rewards Hunter channel here on YouTube. Click on the join button to find out more about that. We're working on guides for games that are leaving Game Pass soon. And we're also working through some Goat Simulator achievements right now for tier three members. So thanks so much. And I will look forward to seeing you all in those future guides. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit the bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description if you want to stay connected. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.